started his first business venture in seventh grade. Now the billionaire founder of Rackspace is in the loop to talk about how other entrepreneurs can possibly do it too. Don't miss Graham Weston later this hour. Stay in the loop. We're just getting started on this Wednesday morning. Well, we've been all over these issues of immigration, jobs, entrepreneurs who take the risk of hiring staff and starting a new company. Well, in a new book, The Unstoppables, billionaire tech entrepreneur Graham Weston explores the startup spark in all of us through discussions from everybody from Israeli innovators to Navy SEALs. Graham Weston is the chairman of web hosting and cloud services company Rackspace. He's a serial entrepreneur and joins us now. Graham, uh, great to have you with us. A really interesting book that some people say, look, it's, a, it's been a long time happening that we need a book where it, it tells us how do we spark or, or tap into this entrepreneurial spirit. So, so where did you go or why did you go to, to Israeli entrepreneurs? Why did you go to Navy SEALs to figure this out? Well, during the recession, jobs were lost by the thousands. We, uh, my co-author and I were thinking about how does America get, how do, how do we recreate those jobs? Many of those jobs will never come back. And we read some research that showed that all net job growth comes from young companies. Not small companies, not big companies, but young ones. Okay. We realized that America needs an engine to create more companies. We went to Israel and, and studied the Navy SEALs and found some amazing things. So what did you find? Well, in Israel, we really found a whole culture that's been built around creating, uh, creating uh, startups, creating uh, being entrepreneurs. Uh, Israel, 20 years ago, set out to put itself on an entrepreneurial mission, and it's done so. It's created a whole culture around it. The whole culture is one of belief. People can believe that they can, that they can create a company. They can be innovators. Okay, and then with Navy, the Navy SEALs? We, the Navy SEALs really, uh, we realize that a lot of people don't become entrepreneurs because of what stops them. It's fear. They're stopped by the fear of, of fear of failure, the fear of starting, the fear of, of not having their idea right. And really, the Navy SEALs teach us that that fear is best overcome by just getting in motion and having a team that creates belief. That mm. sense of belief is what gives us the confidence to start. Okay, so that all sounds well and good, Graham, but the problem is, is that here in the United States, you know, there's all these challenges, all these issues you hear about from entrepreneurs, everything from, uh, you know, the tax laws to uh, regulation, immigration reform. I mean, the list goes on, uh, it, you know, in terms of conditions that don't, you know, that don't inspire entrepreneurialism. Well, those things certainly make being an entrepreneur harder, but I think the most important thing is the entrepreneurial culture. We think we don't have a problem. We're America. We have lots of entrepreneurs. Well, really, the infrastructure, our infrastructure of education, I think, destroys more entrepreneurs than it creates. What do you mean? Because I spoke at a, well, I spoke uh, at my alma mater, Texas A&M University, to an MBA class, and I asked them how many of them wanted to be entrepreneurs, and al almost everyone raised their hands. And I asked them how many of them would be entrepreneurs going straight out of school, and almost no one raised their hands. Why is that? It's because, it's because first of all, the part of the schooling process today, you run up lots of debt. You want to pay off that debt first. Secondly, with that debt, it makes you more conservative, makes you less, less likely to take a risk. Mm -hmm. And it also ups your opportunity cost because you're able to earn more money. All of these things pile up and make it even harder to be an entrepreneur. So, In addition to that, but, but most... Graham, but we can't all be Grams like you. We can't all be billionaire entrepreneurs. We can't all be entrepreneurs. There are some people who are entrepreneurs and some people who, frankly, are better off working for a big company moving up the ladder. Absolutely, absolutely. What our goal was to double the number of entrepreneurs. We think that there are entrepreneurs sitting in in our uh, in our ranks today. There are people who should be, who should either work for small companies, they should start small companies, or perhaps they should be, uh, they should be entrepreneurs within big companies. You know, America's big companies are being disrupted. This is a problem that that not only small companies can solve. Every big company needs to be more entrepreneurial. But as a company gets older, those entrepreneurs often get pushed to the side. All right, Graham, very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us on this. Graham Weston, the chairman of Rackspace and the, uh, the guiding force behind the new book, Unstoppables. Coming up, the high cost of hangovers. Billions of dollars are wasted by companies on...